everybody. Hi. I, I uh, did a surprise live. We've been outside all day playing with the kids and I wanted to get on here to go over the bring back my bar. So most of you will probably watch this as a replay, but don't forget to comment and let me know that you watched it and tell me what you think. So I have Amanda here for you guys who are new to the page. Um, this is my daughter and she is helping me go through these. So Amanda has a different taste in wax than I do. So it's nice to have her opinion here. So the Bring Back My Bars are bars that were voted on by you and anybody else who wanted to vote. And they do it twice a year. They bring them back in January and in June. So these were voted on, I think back in February and they came out with the winners and as a consultant, I was able to get them ahead of time and so I can show you and give samples and explain <coughs> what I think of them. Um, and they come out June 1st. So that's coming right up. What's in? Oh, okay. Must be on the back cover. Okay. All right. So, sure. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just run through the list. I have my iPad here that is, um, has the descriptions. So I'm going to go ahead on my website. You can go see them. Um, they're just not available until June 1st. So I'm going to start. Hi, Christy. Hi, Courtney. I'm going to start with watermelon patch. Um, since he says this much love fragrance was picked by Sensi. Oh, that's not the description. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. She's melting this today at the house and I like it. Yes. And I like it too. So it's this funny. one to me is probably pure watermelon. You yeah. Think? But it's not too strong. I mean, watermelon's not strong to me anyway. That's true. It's not too like... I don't know. I feel not, like in gum, sometimes it's too strong. Yeah. It's not like a, um, you know, like fruit punch sometimes can be really I like it. strong. It's a nice scent and it's performing well. I have it in my kitchen, which is in a big open area. And I could smell it um, throughout the whole area really well. So this is one I will be purchasing um, because I like it and it's a good one for the summer. Um, I've been looking for some more. Hi, Christy. Hi, Courtney. Other than, um, what is the one I like? Nectar, Ruby Nectarine. Ruby Nectarine. That's my favorite. Okay, so the next one is <clears throat> called White Out. And since he says, an exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty winter pine. I don't smell the apple. I definitely smell peppermint and maybe the pine. I definitely smell mint, the peppermint. It's almost like a very light uh, peppermint candy. You know, I like it. Red and white candies. I don't know yeah. if I'd want it melting in my house, but it smells good. Well, and some of these, because they only do them twice a year, like will be, you would want to get them and save them for the fall or winter and some for the yeah, summer. Yeah, like winter would be good for them. Yeah. So if you like peppermint, this is a really nice one. It's not overpowering um, like some of them can be some peppermint it's pretty strong so that is white out the next one is a pretty color pink I like pink um, sweet pea and vanilla an ambiance of raspberries sweet pea petals with vanilla <laughs> now just a background I'm a bakery person but I do like fruity too and she likes fresh yeah so what do you think? And I don't, I don't like floral. I don't really smell any vanilla. I don't, it's not super strong to me at all. Let me smell it again. Maybe I smell the sweet pea. I think it's a sweet pea. It's, and maybe the raspberries. It smells sweet, <clears throat> but then it has a touch of floral, which I guess is a sweet pea. So it's a really nice smell. Um, nice it's not scent. strong. Yeah. And I did warm this, um, in my office. The only thing about me is it did, the more I warmed it, 
the more of the floral came out. And I'm not a floral well, person, but if you do like floral, I do think this would be a nice scent. Okay, that was Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Moving on to My Wish, which is a pretty purple color. This one's been around for a long time. Hi, Lauren. Um, hey, Lauren. This one's been around for a long time. Like this one, yeah. She has this one from I don't know when. Um, so, My Wish. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow. Have you wishing for more? See, I, lately they all seem so subtle to me. Um, I don't really smell marshmallow. I think that's the sweetness. <clears throat> I think I smell a little, I guess it's marshmallow. In, in the violet I do smell. Mm -hmm. I think this is a nice scent, and like Amanda said, it's, um, hi, Ashley, uh, it's light. Mm -hmm. It's it, To me, this is like a nice one that you'd put in your bedroom, maybe, yeah. or a bathroom, like nice um, background, a little, um, <clears throat> I don't know, bedroomy to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, moving on. The next one is called Beach. And since he says papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. See, I want to try this one. And I'm not a coconut person, but it's not super coconutty. I do I smell the coconut. A little bit. Yeah, but it's but not it's, like... I, I don't know if it's papaya or honeydew I'm smelling. Let me smell it. Uh, maybe. I don't know which don't one it know. is, but I like it. And I'm not sure what papaya smells like. Yeah. I have to get a sample of that one. I like that one. Yeah. It is a nice smell. And it's not, it's not like suntan lotion. It, the, um, hi, Missy. Um. Hi, Missy. It's, it's not heavy on coconut. So we'll have to give you a sample of this. If anybody oh wants God. any samples, just okay. jot down what you like and I'll get you some samples. Um. Because that's why I get these, so we can see if we like them and... And take the samples, because I found one that I liked too late, and it was gone. Remember the, what is it, white tea cactus? Yes, yes. Can't get it anymore. Yeah, so, and then, these are only available for a limited time, and then you can start a club, and you can get it, like, every month, or every two months, or even every three months, and you'll always get them. But that's the only way after they sell out that you can get them. Um, okay, the next one is Vanilla Suede. Classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. It's a su uh, subtle masculine fragrance. So this one, I have to say, my husband does like. Really? Yeah. I don't like it. And I um, like the masculine like, I like men's deodorant smell, but that's not it. I'm not sure if it's a sandalwood. Um, I like vanilla, but <clears throat> I think it is more of a masculine, um, like, a perfume or cologne. Mm -hmm. I, but I like men's deodorant. And it's, yeah. I just don't like So, it one. does have, like, a, a sweetness to it to me like a masculine sweetness so if you like those there's a lot of people that do like masculine scents um that one might be for you okay next is rustic lodge so it's funny because i uh, amanda and trevor her husband had seen these and i said this one is called rustic lodge and to me it smells just like a rustic lodge so let's see what sensei says Warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. I kind of like it this time. I don't remember if I liked it the first time. I like it. Yeah, and it does, that. it reminds me of going to like the Graves Mountain um, Lodge. We go there to eat in the fall and pick apples. To me, it's definitely a fall scent though. Yeah, I would agree with that. Fall going I like into it. Christmas and, it, and even winter. It a little bit of maybe potpourri but not like the stinky potpourri yeah and did it say it has pine in it i guess it's a cedar it does smell woodsy yeah i like it i like it too so a sample problem. that yeah that's rustic lodge so that's a nice mm. one i definitely want to get more of that okay the next one is called hemingway you can probably guess it's to me a manly scent 
rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with a hint of spice. So kind of that one has sandalwood and cedar. So I gotta have to smell this one warming. So I did. It's not strong at all. I, it's not that strong. I did warm a cube of this and I did like it. I put it in our extra bathroom. That Yeah, I think I would try that one. Yeah, it's, I think I do smell the um, apples in it. Yeah, I think I smell apples when I smell it's it. It's not as um, manly, I don't think. Yeah, I would agree with that. More of a, I don't know if you'd even call it a fall one. Would you? No, definitely not compared to Rustic Lodge. This one, <clears throat> to me, is oh. like, if if you just want like a, not a floral or fu fruity or anything like that. This is just yeah. like a warm scent. So that was Hemingway. Um, so I like that one too. Okay, the next one is called Happy Birthday. And I just knew I was going to love this one because I like birthday cake. I'm a... Um, uh, definitely you. Bakery scents. So this, I don't dislike it though. This says a candy licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. It smells good. I just have to be in the mood for a baking one. So this one does smell like cake. Mm -hmm. And I heard somebody describe it. Uh, I was telling you this that it was um, smelled like chocolate and vanilla cake and oh I, yeah i think it does <clears throat> with some vanilla buttercream icing <laughs> very specific <laughs> so it's it's a nice one you know if you like that kind of scent i think this is a good one um i think they did good with that description and the you're title. gonna add that one to your club i don't know oh, there's too many yes i have to make some decisions um to add to my club um, so the next one is called Fuzzy Blanket, and this one, from what I've heard in the Scentsy world, uh, is very popular, and people, um, have, there's a following for it. So this one says, snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. This one's good. So I did try this one, there's one mi uh, cube missing, and when I, I put it in the spare bedroom... And to me, it smelled like you walk in and I had freshly washed all of the bedding. Oh. So I think this is yeah, a nice... Yeah, that's a nice smell. A nice bedroom scent, bathroom, laundry room. And I do like it. It's very nice because it's not real strong and it's not perfumey mm, to me. Yeah, I like the color. So that one might be going... Yeah, the color is pretty. That one might be going in my club. Okay, the next one. Cherry... Vanilla Scentsy Bar. Okay. A delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds fold into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I'm not a cherry person. I don't think the cherry is overpowering, but it's not my cup of tea. Um, I am a cherry person, and you definitely oh, smell cherry. <laughs> you smell cherry. It's definitely cherry heavy. You See, I don't think it is. I mean, do you smell anything else in there? Do you smell vanilla? Or white chocolate? I guess normally when I smell cherry, it stinks. I don't think that stinks. I just don't like it. Well, it's funny you say that because my husband isn't a cherry person at all either. And, and they're very similar. Um, but he likes this one. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, it's, it's a cherry scent with a little bit of... Um, hmm. I guess Gross. toned down with the almond, which is sweet, and the white chocolate. So, this is a good one. I like this one. Cherry vanilla. All right. Next is Ghostly Greetings. And I think this one is popular, too. Um, I mean, they're all popular. They got voted on, but a lot of people like this one. So, it's spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. Do you feel like it's a fall one? This, to me, <clears throat> is total October. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. I do like it. And I think I'm going to get a couple bars for October. Yeah, that's a good idea. But it totally makes me think of Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very nice scent and very pretty color for the fall. Yeah, it's very fitting. Yeah. I'll leave fall. So I'll be picking up a few of those for the fall. Okay, the next one, Harbor's Edge. Okay, this is a pretty blue scent. Cool. Um, beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. I think that's my favorite one. So, this one, you know, when I smelled it first, I liked it. And I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and warm it. And I liked it even more. And same with Patrick in the office. Yeah. Same thing happened. There's a lot missing. Yeah. So, me and him kept um, using it. This one might be my favorite out of all of them. Yeah. I think it's mine. It's, um, to me, like a beachy, fresh scent. Do you did, think? You, did you read it? Yeah, the beach grass, raspberry. Um, I think it's a fresh scent. Yeah, maybe that's why I like it. Yeah. Definitely a must if you like fresh. And I think it's it's somewhat beachy, sea salty. It's a salty musk. So that one's going <clears> to <throat> go in my club. This is another one that's probably going to go in my club. Churro churro, another one that people love. Um, baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures the heavenly churro charm. So I'm a bakery person. I think it smells good. I like this one. And it's a nice neutral color. This smells like very, very warm. Um, it's, I guess it's, you smell some cinnamon. To me, it smells very, um, like a warm... I don't know, something baked with vanilla. I think it smells good. With I a hint of really cinnamon. Burn the bacon I, I don't know what churros smell like. I've never had one. Mm -mm. But this smells good. A very warm smell, like you just pulled something out of the oven. <clears throat> so that's going in my club for sure. I like that one. But it's, I do have to say it's light. It's not overpowering because I did try it. Um which might be what you like or what you don't like. So the next is called Love and Kisses Mini. The sweetest girl is one you'll never forget, and this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. Hi, Chelsea. We're smelling the Bring Back My Bars. Hi, Chelsea. Okay. This one is fruity, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely smell the berries. Um, Apricot. Yeah. To me, it's like a um, definitely fruity smell. I don't smell the vanilla no. too much. I would say it's 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 fruit. So if you like fruity, it's it's pretty. And I do like fruity. I'm beginning to like fruity a little bit more in the summer. Chelsea says she's ready to get these. Yeah, they they have some good ones in here. I don't. Chelsea churro churro is my that and Harbor's Edge, Harbor's Edge are my one and two tied. Okay, a couple more um, plum and white woods. So since he says sweet raspberry, oh, and it says it's in the fruity. I should have been paying attention. Sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through a vanilla or orchard orchid. I kind of I kind of like that. I like this too. This smells really good, but it's very light. Yeah, maybe that's why I like it. I think it would go good in a small <clears throat> room, like a bathroom, or you would have to put maybe at least two, three cubes in a big warmer in a bigger room. But this one, it definitely smells good. I smell the plum more than the raspberry. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. So that's a good one. Plum and white woods. And it's a pretty color. All right, we have a couple left. So, oh, I, so oh. Harbor's Edge is my favorite. I definitely remember that one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's my favorite out of all of them. Um, painted leaves. Painted leaves. This um, wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. Mm -mm. So, this one is a fall one, obviously. 
I think maybe it's the maple. Is there? Oh. I just ooh, not a fan of that one. It reminds me of something like grass or like like a plant. Like yeah, greenery. Like a. I don't want to say Christmas tree, but it's. Not something I, it's in the woods, um, category. For smelling it, I don't think I like it that much. Mm, maybe when you melt it. But I did see someone else say they didn't like it and they warmed it and they really like it. So I'm going to give it a try. I just haven't had a chance to warm all these. So that was painted leaves. I thought Trevor would like this one. Southern sweet tea. Okay, a splash of heirloom peach. Orange juice and white tea. You think he'd like it? Cause he was saying. I don't remember if he did. He he didn't. Well, he did it not like smell it. The peach and the tea. Yes, cause he Excuse was me. wanting a peach one. Mhm. Mm so I did warm this one at work, and to me, it smells like peach. Yeah. That's all I really smell. So it was a nice scent. It was um, <clears throat> fruity, and you know, it it actually carried through three offices. Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's a good performer. Um, Southern Sweet Tea. And I did like it. Okay. One cashmere pear. That and the one that I was missing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cashmere pear. Slip into central white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. See, I want to melt this and one cashmere. because I like pear. I love pear scent, mm -hmm. but this isn't what I expected. Right. That's why I want to try it. Let's smell the bottom. Yeah, I'm really curious. So I think it's, it's, it's the, maybe the amber or the cashmere, but it makes it a little, like a little perfumey. Yeah. I think just a touch or powdery or something. It's not fruity, I don't think. No, I'm, I don't know they should put it in that category. It is in the fruity category, but it's not like a juicy pear. It's more of a, maybe a fallish warm pear. So that is cashmere pear. So I do want to try that one. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, and the last one is white sands. Night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. Looks about the same color as this one. Yeah. We think it's that in the other in the room kitchen. somewhere. Um, so this one I wasn't a big fan of because to me it was kind of perfumey. Um, and I think you felt the same way. Yeah. You weren't a big fan of it. So. And it has coconut. Yeah. So it's... Um, you know, if you like, I think it's a jasmine that makes it a little perfumey. So, again, that's just my opinion and Amanda's opinion. Um, so, we went through all of them. Uh, they come out June 1st, and they'll be the same regular price, $6, or you can get a discount if you buy three, or if you buy six. If you buy six, you get one free. So, um... If you would like a sample of any of them, just let me know because it is nice if you can, if you're debating, um, it is nice to try them out, uh, at least smell them, if not try them in your warmer. And they come out Thursday along with is that the, first? the new warmer and we have some other stuff coming out. So right. that's all post going to be posted on my page if I haven't done it already. So thank you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. And again, my favorites are Churro Churro and Harbor's Edge. Her favorite is Harbor's Edge, but there's a quite a few more that I do like and I'm going to try. So I'll be um, getting getting a load of them. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you again soon. I'm going to be getting the warmer of the month for June. And I will show you guys that because it's really pretty. So take care and thanks Bye. for watching.